It's a decision that may have far-reaching security implications in Israel and beyond. President Trump, in recognizing Jerusalem as the Israeli capital, is adopting a position that no American leader has taken since the establishment of Israel nearly 70 years ago. On the streets of Jerusalem, views were shared, but there was a sense of unease. I think uh, there will be protests and there will be violence, but, you know, I don't know how to get over it. I mean, uh, will it have an impact? The Arab will reject it and they will uh, making not just demonstration. I, I, I scared that they're going to, to doing the third intifada. The reaction to this move politically has been consistent across the board, with many governments expressing concern. But it's what happens on the ground in places like this, East Jerusalem, as well as Gaza and the West Bank, that is concerning governments outside of Israel, as well as the Israeli government itself. If an incorrect step is taken regarding the status of Jerusalem, it will cause an indignation in the entire Islamic world. This will undermine the groundwork of peace, ignite tensions and cause new conflicts. But the status of Jerusalem should be determined as a negotiate in a negotiated settlement between the Israelis and the Palestinians, and Jerusalem should ultimately form a, share, form a shared capital between the Israeli and Palestinian states. That is, you know, we continue to support a two-state solution. The U.S. government itself is warning its employees in Israel not to visit Jerusalem's old city, while Hamas, one of the two main Palestinian parties, has called for a day of anger. Already, protests have been seen in the Hamas heartland of the Gaza Strip, with more expected after prayers on Friday, echoing a sentiment felt across the region. This banner reads, Jerusalem is a red line. The U.S. administration has chosen in this announcement to violate all mutual international resolutions and the treaties. It has preferred to disregard the international consensus expressed about Jerusalem by leaders, states, and spiritual leaders of the world in the few old days. The reaction from the Israeli government was initially muted, but eventually the move was welcomed. We're profoundly grateful for the president, for his courageous and just decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and to prepare for the opening of the U.S. Embassy here. But he's aware that advocates of an eventual two-state solution believe Jerusalem should serve as a capital of both Israel and a future Palestinian state, a concept that is now threatened. Francis Collins, TRT World, Jerusalem.